So a few of you guys have been asking about how well this lens performs in low light, which up until now I've not really known. So me and Tia have come down to South End Seafront just to do a bit of test footage, some test shots, um, see how well it performs. You know, I thought it'd look quite cool with you know a bit of bokeh and you know with all the arcade lights in the background and stuff. So let's uh, let's jump in and oh, I keep saying jump in. <laughs> so let's just go and see how it does. Yeah, too. If you just stand underneath that light over here, yeah, yeah. If you just try, just try turning on the pavement there. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That looks pretty cool. Go in to fifty mil. I've got an idea as well. I'm gonna try like a slow shutter speed shot. Uh, yeah, just like, yeah, yeah, just sort of. Oh. Right, ready, look at me and just try and stay still, ready? Oh yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Need more cars. Right, ready? One, two, three. I'm just trying to get a general one of the uh oh, yeah, it's actually quite bright over there, isn't it? So oh yeah that looks quite cool. We we literally where you were just stood there and then sort of looking back down the road there. Yeah, quite like that. Right, hold on. Let me just try and get focused on you. Seems to be working okay. Back to the leaves. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. I know it kind of wasn't the most thorough of tests, you know, I know it was only just going out and taking a few snaps and a little bit of footage, but hopefully it will still help give you some idea of how this lens performs in low light, which personally, I thought it did really well. You know, if you have a little look at some of those shots, I'll show some up here now, just zoomed in to like, you know, 200%. If you look at the sharpness and the detail, like in Tia's eyes and stuff there, I think it's done incredibly well, even when it's operating at those sort of slightly higher ISOs. ISOs, which 
I didn't push ridiculously high. You know, I know that one of those shots, I pushed it up to 1250. I didn't really need to push it too much higher than that because I know, although it was a low light test, you know, and it was obviously nighttime when I conducted the test, the shoot, you know, I'm still looking for light sources as you will be anyway. You know, if you're using this for like sort of street photography at nighttime and stuff, you're still going to be chasing that light if you like, you know, you're still going to be looking for light sources. So as long as you're exposing for those light sources, you know, I didn't really notice a great deal of noise or anything in the shadows, which which is the main thing I was looking for. But yeah, to summarise, I thought it did really well. No problems with it, taking it out of an evening to do some street photography and stuff. I think it'll be ideal for that. But you know, what are your thoughts? Have any of you guys out there got this lens already? I'd be very interested to hear what your thoughts are. You know, I think it's doing okay. The one thing I'm noticing with this lens, it's not really to do with the low light performance or anything, is that at 18 mm it really is quite distorted. You know, it's something that I'm really having to fix in Lightroom. I don't know if that's just the raw files. I'm not sure if you shoot in JPEG. I believe these cameras may possibly kind of fix that in camera, but I'm noticing that it's quite, it's quite bad. Um, but again, nothing that can't be fixed in post. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please do think about liking and subscribing and I'll catch you again in the next one. Cheers.